Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a comparison flight. Out in front of you have the Durafly Tundra version three, Bigfoot Arrows, uh, Arrows Bigfoot, and the uh, FMS PA-13. I'm gonna run all three planes on the same battery, same type battery, 2700 Hobbystar 3S with a 35C, okay? And we're gonna run them all. Now, they're, they're all 1300 millimeter wingspan. They all have reverse, they all have flaps, they all have lights, they're all a bush style type plane. Um, the Tundra comes in at $249. It's advertised as running on 4S, but it will run very well on 3S, as y'all y'all see my uh, 3S maiden. Bigfoot, of course, will run on 4S, but I prefer on 3S. That's the way she sold as a 3S plane, and she does just fine. The uh, PA-18, I don't know if it'll run on 4S, but I know it'll run really well on 3S. Okay, so we're going to fly all three of these. This is going to be the introduction for all of them, and then I'll just start with a video we'll tie it all together and we're going to try to fly the plane each plane in the same type of uh, passes landings and try to keep the pattern similar and then uh, fly for uh, try to fly for a full five minutes on each one all right so we're going to end this video and the next video will be the we're going to start out with the PA 18 Okay, folks, we're going to start our first flight with the PA-18 Super PA, PA-18 Super Cub, 1300 millimeter. Very windy. Very windy. Very, very windy. Do not need flaps at all today. So she handles, now I only have the AS3X version, which is, this has the vec, the, uh, the uh, Reflex version two in it, which is their gyro and just a regular receiver. And we're just seeing how she handles the wind. And I'm trying to fly these planes in the same type of pattern. I'm just gonna take it up, ride the wind a little bit. Does just fine. Their gyro, their uh, reflex does just fine. Gotta stay away from that sun though. You get blinded quick. All right. Okay, let's see if we can land this plane. Now this has really soft tires. They're pneumatic. You have to air, they're air filled. See if I can do a snap roll. Yeah. All right. Hope the other planes aren't getting blown away on the ground right now. All right. Let's go ahead and bring it back and see how I took it up. Wind served. Did a snap roll. And let's see. You now let's see if I can bring it in. Maybe walk the dog a little bit. Walk the dog a little bit. All right. All right, walk the dog. Let's take it back. Let's see how, let's see about land on a runway without getting blinded. Sorry about the sun, folks. Definitely don't need flaps today. It is so windy right now. All right. Well, as I said, I'm going to do five minutes but I'm going to just go ahead and land it all right man is it windy wow and the GoPro has a little bit of a knife edger GoPro has a nice wind filter and it's audio settings but when it's super windy it's not gonna really matter I'll do the best I can to edit out the wind noise. All right. Whoa. 
Hoping my planes are still, okay, they're, they're still sitting over there. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Motor, off. Motor off. It's windy. Kind of hard to do a comparison video in this wind, but we'll just see how each one handles it. How each one handles the wind. All right, stay forward. Come on. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, tell you what we'll do is we'll turn her up and get up here. Speed run with the wind. Of course, that's with the wind. All right. Very stable plane. She's handling the wind just fine. Just stay on your sticks, you know. I mean. Stay on them sticks. I'm out of the throttle now. All right. Turn against the wind here. All right. All right, let me show you reverse. Wait a minute. You know what? Maybe I've turned that reverse off. Safe mode. Brakes off. Okay, I do have brakes. Brakes on. I forgot how I had it. AS3X Yeah, have it configured a little bit differently. Okay. Oh, come on, wind. Let me turn. Let me turn. Let me turn. All right. Motor off. All right. Now, let's take it back. Motor's off. Make sure the other planes are still sitting there. It didn't get blown away. And we'll check the battery. We flew for three minutes and 30 seconds. So, let's see what kind of life is left in the battery because my dumb butt forgot to bring it out there with me okay and that little that black thing there that's just an antenna mod i put on there to grab the case to grab the, ba the battery hatch okay all right if you look down in there you'll see um, my setup that's a, a hobby king receiver and that's the uh, reflex system and that is the battery that i'm flying in let's undo it all right 67 percent left after basically timer was five minutes so three and a half minutes okay so that is the pa 18 super cub flew around so let's compare the other two. All right, we'll pause, pause this video, then we'll go to the next plane, which will be the uh, Bigfoot. All right, now we're going to take up Arrow's Bigfoot in our comparison flight. Right, left, up, down, right, left. Same battery. Let me show you reverse. Wait a minute. You know what? Stability mode. I may not have... Prop secured. Motor on. Landing flaps. Flaps up. You know what? I don't have reverse and enabled. It has reverse, but I have it. I don't. I have disabled. Yep. Landing flaps. Flaps up. It has the ability for reverse, but I don't have it. AS3X mode. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it does have reverse, but I don't have it plugged in. So, all right, here we go. mode now so far i would say bigfoot is faster between that and the pa18 flies into the wind very similarly very stable same battery 
same class of plane okay all right Get ourselves a grass landing try to anyways Take her up. See if I can get her to do a snap roll now. Well, kinda. Not really. Okay, so the PA-18 pulled off the snap roll a little bit better. Bring her by low and slow. Get a good look at her. Now this, I have the vector system in the, in the uh, PA-18, you have the reflex system in, eh, not too bad. In the uh, arrows, you have the vector system. They're very similar gyros. They're non-tunable. You can't change anything about them with the version one and version two of the reflex and the vector is non-tunable. Now the new reflex version three is tunable. You can put it in any plane you want. Walking the dog a little bit. Okay. Take it up. All right, take it in the bird of flight. No problem. Okay. Now I'm forgetting everything I did with the PA-18. Yeah, I get a little bit. It's not quite perfectly a snap roll, but I think the uh, Bigfoot is uh, more powerful. However, the reflex, the reflex, their wind mitigation version, which is how I was flying all three of these in, um, so far the reflex is better. Okay, the reflex is better. Walk the dog again. All right. Let's actually land her on a runway this time. Oh, we can do better than that. I get blinded by the sun here. All right, there we go. And we're back at a minute and a half, so we flew for three and a half minutes. Let's check our battery. Prop secured. Now I've actually got the checker with me this time. Imagine that. I tell you, after three and a half minutes of flying, this is the setup. Now, the receiver is back inside. I've got an AR620 Antilus receiver back in there, if I remember right, because you can't see it. And the vector is back, back in there. And uh, my, that's the battery all the way forward, just like in the PA-18. Okay. Let's see how much juice, how efficient this plane was. And I flew pretty much the, pretty much the same way. This isn't a, a scientific test, but it's pretty close. 65%, I think the other one was 63%, so comparable, comparable. And plenty of power on 3S. Okay, now the next thing will be the same, this same kind of battery, uh, just another 2700 in the Durofly Tundra version three. All right, so let's put this plane down where it don't get blown away. Switch. All right, put that in the used battery bag. All right, so let's switch. We'll end this flight. The next one will be on the Tundra, version three. All right, folks. 
Pack Iron Flies RC. Now here is the, down this is the Tundra, version three. Okay, got the same 2700 Hobby Star in it as the, as the PA-18 FMS and the uh, Arrows Bigfoot. All right, right, left, up, down, right, left. Motor on. I'm gonna try to fly it pretty much the same way. All right, running in AS3X. Got this one does have the advantage of a spectrum, spectrum gyro. Okay, because I'm running a AR630 antennaless receiver, and it has the spectrum gyro, which is a legendary gyro, great for wind mitigation. All right, and I can turn it off. I can do the same thing with the other two. I can turn the gyro off. I can do wind mitigation or I can do self-leveling. All right, so I'm gonna show you that real quick is I'm gonna turn the gyro off. Manual. Manual mode, no gyro. And, and yeah, she's really getting rocked around. <laughs> it's really windy right now. So we're gonna go back, let me show you that again. That, 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 that exists on all three planes, so it is comparable. All right, she's rock, rocking around. All right, all right, wind mitigation's back in. A little more locked in now. I mean, a gyro can only do so much when you got enough wind. Okay, all right, let's get her turned around here. Let's see if we can't get her to do a little bit of windsurfing here. Get her up high and just kind of let her, let the wind just carry her. Okay, almost flying backwards now. All right, let's take her up. See if I can get into a snap roll. Almost, it almost did a snap roll. Now it's on 3S. All three of these are being flown on the same battery. 20, not the exact, the, the same battery, but they're all being flown on 2700 Hobby Stars with 35C discharge 3S batteries. All right, I've got like six of them batteries. Like one of some of my favorite 3S batteries. They're not too bad for, all right, let's land her. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So far, Bigfoot has more power. Okay. But to be fair, the vortex generators on this one are very pronounced and very, very, uh, they're much larger. And so they really grab the air, so they create a lot of drag. But they're, they're meant for slow flight. They're walking the dog a little bit. They're meant for slow flight stability. That's the point of them. All right. All right, let's see if I can pull off a knife edge into the land here now. Yeah, there we go. Time remaining, two minutes. All right. Try to get her landed actually on the runway, which would be nice. Okay. Watch out for the sun. The sun, the sun, the sun. I will tell you that one thing's for sure. The uh, lights are superior on this one. Lights are very superior. Um, I think the drawback on this plane is the wheels. The wheels are very, very hard. The wheels on the Bigfoot are hard too, um, but they do have a little more give than these. These are just hard pressed foam, which makes for a very light plane, but, all right, trying to bring her back. See, the wind is coming right down the runway. So try to get her turned. Okay. All right. We still got, oh, we're done now. All right, we're at a minute left, so we got to stop. All right, we actually went over. Let's see what kind of battery life we left. So we actually went over by, oh, a good 20 seconds longer than the other two. So keep that in mind when I check this battery. Okay. All right. That's where I have the, uh, 2700 35C, uh, right there, all the way forward. CG is just fine. CG is 50 to 60 millimeters back from the leading edge, which is basically right below this uh, black uh, paint there or stripe there. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and undo the battery, take it out, and check. All right. Okay. 68%. Okay, this had more. 68% flew th uh, through 20 seconds longer than the other two. Okay, so this plane wins for efficiency. It's lighter, it's more powerful, so it wins in efficiency. The Bigfoot wins, in my opinion, in power and, and speed. Okay, and I think as far as aesthetic looks, I'm thinking we're in a dead heat between the PA-18 and the Tundra. And I'm going to say I'm going to give a slight edge to the Tundra because these lights are so much brighter and can be seen so much better. Okay, folks. Well, there you go. I'm going to, I'm going to have to declare, in my opinion, uh, based upon flying all three of these, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I'm thinking the PA-18-1300 uh, is, is, the, is the winner. It has better gear. It has a better landing. It seems to have a good mix of power. I don't know. I'll let y'all change. Y'all, y'all in the comments, y'all watched all three fly. I'm leaning on the PA-18, but yeah, I don't know. I may change my mind. <laughs> y'all let me know what you think. I flew all three planes with similar conditions, similar battery, and sim somewhat in a similar style. And y'all watch the video. All three of these videos will be combined into one large video. And y'all put in the comments, let me know which you think is the better of the three. They all are comparable in price. They all have reverse thrust. They all have lights. They all have flaps. The FMS-1 and the arrows come with gyros. You have to provide a receiver. This one does not come with a gyro, but it is 4S capable and, and it's meant to be 4S, so it's much more powerful and faster on 4S. So, you know, you weigh the balance, you'll have to provide a gyro if you want one. It really doesn't need a gyro, but that's just me. All right, y'all let me know what you think is the winner, what you think is the better of the three. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and them bush planes. Bye-bye.